back to Go. I'm Blair Malstravich, and I'm here in the greenhouse at Fort White, alive, joined by Danielle. Danielle, what happens right here in this greenhouse? Uh, well, this is a really important space for us because this is where we grow all of our transplants for our gardens, for our markets, and for our uh, share program at Fort White Alive. Now, what role does this uh, working farm play in the community? Well, we're a youth, edu or youth education and employment training center, so we essentially work with youth serving agencies in Winnipeg where um, uh, underserved youth come here and learn about food and learn about employment skills so that they can move on in their lives with, with a lot of success and uh, basic training and uh, in employment um, with uh, really good food and a lot of friends along the way. All right, so that was talking about plant life. Now let's move on to the other part of the working farm. We're talking about animals and livestock. Who's joining us right now? Well, this is my colleague, Rahel, and uh, one of our chickens that we raise uh, at Fort White Farms. Now what happens with uh, all, all the animals uh, that are here? Yeah, so we raise, uh, all of our animals are raised outside, and so we raise chickens, rabbits, and pigs. And uh, we do eat eat products from the, those livestock, and so we this is uh, part of our laying flock. And one of these gals would lay eggs for us every day that we would use in our program to teach youth about um, different nutrition uh, skills and uh, learn about local foods. Now these are obviously very common animals, but they have a lot of energy too. Has there been any challenges for these animals? Yeah, I mean sometimes they do want to, you know, run to pull the park, or uh, they do have have some interesting personalities. As Rahel can attest, even holding this bird right now is uh, she definitely doesn't want to be held. <laughs> oh, see, and there she goes. That's good because I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and it, it's a good it's a good uh, thing to know that livestock are our livestock. They're not our pets, and um, we can still steward them and teach youth how to steward them in a way uh, with a lot of care. So you know, we have people here, of course, learning and, and doing some day jobs. What can other people do in the community that maybe want to come down and check it out? Yeah, there's lots of ways to tap in. So one thing is if you have small people in your life, we offer a farm camp. And uh, we're really excited about that, that this year where youth that work on our farm, like Rahel and her colleagues, will actually teach young people between the ages of 8 and 11 about everything on the farm. So uh, they'll get a chance to collect eggs and then go and bake something with those eggs. Cool. They'll get a chance to learn about what foods grow in Manitoba, how our greenhouses, uh, the design and technology of our greenhouses, really sustainable and then they'll get to actually be in the gardens and harvest fresh things from the garden all while learning about uh, the farm and Fort White in a really positive way. So that's one thing and then we also run a, a farmers market that you can come every Tuesdays and uh, come and buy a lot of the produce from our farms between 12 and 6. What's uh, the feedback been like? Uh, it's been great. We really want to welcome people to this farm and um, uh, when you when you come to this facility, it's a great way to plug into seeing agriculture that's happening in Manitoba in a really uh, sustainable way and, and that you can get really face to face with the food that you eat. Thanks so much, Danielle. Coming up next, we have Mike Valente with Sports talking about how some of the best young football players are making their way to Winnipeg.